Hi! I finally managed to make my first, very first um, peacock pack. I uh, was thinking for a while about it and I just wanted to make it so uh, you can embellish your um, peacock journal if you're making one. Okay, so I'll dive in right away. Uh, this is an envelope where I put all of the goodies inside, at least a few of them. Um, and it's just made from advertisements. Um, it's like really big one and cute. Okay, um, this is one of the small booklets um, that I made. And uh, this is a um, like fruit net thingy um, that I tried to make a scrapbook paper out of it. I think it's somewhere on my channel. I can link it down below. And I'll just go through it so you can see um, like really old paper. This is like from 1938 and some newer pages and some jelly printed pages. I just put a bunch mixed paper in so you can actually use a, s a smaller uh, glue book or you know whatever you want basically so here I have another tag As you can see it's stitched up and hopefully this is focused and I put on a top I put a um, puller from um, clothing tag so the inside the fabric ones um, and these are just magazines stitched together and painted and on this side is a paper that it's like a teal blue colored like peacock colored so next one I have this card that is made from scraps These are basically I have two cards that are really matte. They were glossy before, but now they're really matte. And you can write or put a picture on it and embellish them. Then I have another tag. This is a little bit of vintage vibe to it. Um, and has some flowers on it and they are teal colored like turquoise teal I have another one this is a napkin I really love this napkin um, and this is my grandmother's um, diary that I included on the back um, so you can write on it um, 1 p.m. I think it's really cute and I didn't pull any tab on top so you can actually tuck it like this or like this however you want it to or you can have it as a pocket if you wanted to as well or a flip another tag and I stamped on a peacock feather um, this background came about like I glued a lot of um, really thin papers together from Ikea brochure um, catalog thingy and what I did is maybe you can see the texture as well what I did is I just painted over it and I stamped um, some of the packaging and whatnot to make some texture and they're really cool and I was able to use all of those pieces that uh, I would um, have to chuck away and on the back is a newspaper um, and you see um, newspaper with stenciled uh, flowers I think it goes together really nicely next tag is this huge one you can see it's like for my whole hand um, and I made some painted papers and wanted to make like a homemade scrapbook paper so I made some flowers and I put some stickles in the middle so it's like a shiny I don't know if the camera picks it up let me see can you see that maybe so what I did is um, I glued a bunch of uh, newspapers together and on the back is the same thing I made um, flowers and I stitched them together to make a big tag so um, and I put a little bit of um, fabric on the top 
they're really cute and blue everything is mostly blue or teal okay so another thing this is called scrappy uh, booklet uh, i did make a few of them on the video live so i will link them below if you're interested and um, i just put um, various pages together as you can see and put some stickers on it and you can what you can do is a um, few things basically you can have it as it is and write in it if you wanted to or glue some things on the tops this is from a really nice um, a kids um, book and if you don't want to do that then what you can do oh my <laughs> this is the the thingy that I was drawing uh, when I was in classes so um, you can tear it off and use the pieces as they are in your collages um, but basically it's like a scrappy booklet and I even put a word on it so it's like um, so you can use it as it is and even if you tear all the pieces out right you still are left with this on the back because it's like a really thick watercolor paper so you can have something at the end when you tear all the pages out so that's that and the next tag is this one hopefully you can see it it's a car corrugated cardboard in the middle of the um, cardboard thingy as you can see it's like a bit fatter and I put some Inca golds on it and it has really awesome texture and it's very light and on the back I put some of the this is um, the thing that you actually put on a windshield uh, in the summer or in the winter um, and I utilized that as well so um, and sewed around so I could actually um, I didn't want to throw it away so I had to do something with it and, and I think this is really cool idea um, if you want to make some really awesome looking tags next one is this small envelope um, it's a, like a coin envelope I stamped peacock feather on it and inside of that envelope is let me try to open this up oh, look at look at this baby oh my god let me put it on my can you see the feather it's really delicate and nice um so it's um teal blue um feather then I included some of the gas checks. Um, so I have three and I try to do different numbers so they're not um, like um, sequel, how to say, they're not the same like one, two, three, but I try to rip them out um, so you would get different ones. And it's in English and uh, French, two languages on it really happy to have them and then I made some um, stationary paper so it's my own printable that I just made a few days ago let me put it up close so um, these are peacock and um, they're double-sided one side is plain and the other side has some lines so you can write on it um, and you can tuck it and it's like a bit thicker paper not regular um, printer paper so I very much like that and um, I made four for this pack and this is like really teal blue as you can see I'm not sure that the camera is picking it up really good uh, but they all have peacock on it and I love them really much and they are different sizes um, and the back oh this one this one has lines on the back as well and I love it I love the blue lines so this is a seam binding I think um, it's elastic so it's a little bit stretchy and I love that um, and this one is a little bit stretchy as well the lace um, but otherwise these are not stretchy but I love them this one is I don't know if you can see but it has just um, the tiny edge in a blue color and I love that and yeah 
Let me try to put them up close um, so you can actually see. So they are all like that and then I have this one that it's really really lovely and if you don't like the shiny side you can use the matte side as well but I love the shiny side a lot and then this one that it's really deep blue and then a darker blue oh is this picking it up I think it is it's really nice and this white one with the blue edge so you can make tassels you can make embellishments whatever you want I just wanted to include some of the um, lace because I think it's really nice to have an addition when you're making your journals my scrapbook papers like um, store-bought scrapbook paper from Germany and I wanted to show you how it looks like this is a heat embossed one and it's approximately, let me check, six by four inches. I have no centimeters here yet, but I will put it on the screen. I probably already did, so you can actually see. Um, and it's really nice and it feels really good. So that's one. This one is another scrapbook paper. It's a little bit um, thinner and it's six by six. And I love the pattern on it. And then I have uh, vellum scrapbook paper. One side is like totally um, plain without um, foil, gold foil on it. And I thought it could be utilized for a lot of things in your journal. So I included that. And then I have three scrapbook papers um, from Germany that are blue themed. These are like doodle, doodle looking uh, thingies. And then this one. Oh, I love it. I just love it. And this one, like a simple one. And if you get an idea, you can actually make scrapbook paper like this as well. You can, it can be your inspiration um, to make some, you know. So I included three of these ones and these are nine by six inches so and the vellum is a little bit smaller it's like 8.2 by six this is another homemade envelope and on the camera it feels like it looks really dark but i'm not sure um it's i made some homemade stamps and i stamped it and um it's like a teal um green teal color like this lace oh this goes together really good yummy yummy okay so inside i have a few bits and bobs let me just check everything on the table so we can see so again this is like slovenian uh advertisement that i utilized and made some envelopes so another of my envelopes then inside i put some of the fun foam shapies um and i put random uh numbers oh here is a little bit of thread random numbers and what you can do you can use them in your journal or you can have it as a um to stamp with them to make your homemade stamps and i did uh, make some of the homemade stamps uh, i made a video about it and you can actually go in my etsy store and i think i have the last pack of homemade stamps but they're not like these I think I should put an image somewhere here so you can actually see what I what I'm talking about um, and if you're interested you can go just check it out um, but again it's an idea if you wanted to make them um, and then I made um, these two cute um, tea um, tags that I put some papers on it and are really cute and you can write on this one because it's like I left a little bit of lines on it oh you can see look okay and this one is shining because it's a packaging from stickers um and i left the red um firm logo on it because i think it looks cool and then in this this pile i have some of the clusters so two clusters 
one with lace and cardboard packaging and just really junky stuff that I wanted to utilize and I think it looks really nice with um, turquoise um, edging hopefully you can see that and I think this was uh, this lines is the packaging from um, old uh, papers um, that I wanted to utilize as well and this one has some threads inside and you can put a word over it even with this one you can put a word over it um, or uh, an, another embellishment a flower or something that um, is gonna go with your page when you're making it okay here I have a coloring page that has some peacocks in it so you can color that up and include it into your journal so now the last thing that I have for this pack are these um, paper embellishment charms let me show you if you, you can actually see so this is a can pull thingy tab and I wanted to utilize those because I'm saving them <laughs> and I have a bunch and I put different kind of doodads on it this is the front side that like different dangles and different things you can use it for tags on the top and I would open the middle and I would just put them like this and glue it down you don't need to sew anything just glue them down and you have a pull tab thingy right that's one thing um, or you can have it on the side of a page let me get a page let's say this is my page okay and I would put it I would open it in the middle and I would put it on the side and this one is a, a safety pin that it has a lot of doodads on it uh, even some fabric let me put it closer can you see some fabric and buttons like really tiny buttons and beads um, and some beads are wood beads that are really small and lace and I just stitch them together and you can yes use them and they're really light so they're not gonna wear your page down like um, make it really heavy on your page so just gluing them down on anything that you want to have a pull or tab and I included this little um, as a dangly thingy that you can still put some things on um, beads or anything that you like and I made um, six of them uh, and I have some uh, homemade what are they called homemade beads in let me see if I can put that closer so I have some really 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 old buttons and this is another homemade bead you know just just different and another homemade bead and a big button a shank button um, I love that so I included this in a pack as well because I think it's a really cute addition and uh, to have something so small and cute and you know to embellish your paper edges as well so that's all for my big peacock pack maybe in the future I'm gonna make some smaller ones as well so we will see how that goes I will put um, the link in the description so you can go check it out the pictures and all uh, and you can see even other things that I made uh, in these past two months I really enjoyed making this pack and thank you very much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you have a really good day and happy crafting bye